Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be covering the topic, what if Raditz became a Super Saiyan? Now in order to answer this, we need to look at a few factors. A, like how strong was Raditz's space power, and B, would he even be able to turn Super Saiyan? Now, for the sake of simplicity, let's say that Raditz turned into a Super Saiyan when he fought Pic Goku and Piccolo. Uh, but let's also compare this to later on, let's say, when after Goku becomes a Super Saiyan. Now, if Raditz turned into a Super Saiyan when he fought Goku and Piccolo, there's no question, he would have annihilated Goku and Piccolo. I mean, for starters, he was basically st stronger than Goku and Piccolo combined. They had to use basically strategy in order to defeat him. So naturally, that would make Raditz even stronger and probably if not resistant then at least would be able to easily uh, keep Goku off of his back uh, not allowing Piccolo to fire the special beam cannon at him because Raditz knew how dangerous it was at least to him it would be dangerous and let's say for the sake of argument Raditz were to come back like a lot of fans speculate uh, later on in the series, like, I don't know, let's say the early Android Saga, let's say, and he were to come to Earth and he were a Super Saiyan, how strong would he be? Well, for starters, he wouldn't have been able to train in the afterlife because he didn't have a body. Just like, for example, Vegeta didn't train when he was dead. He basically... Like, he basically, uh... <laughs> was as strong as before. I mean, I might say the skills got rusty, but whatever. Anyway, without any training, Raditz would essentially be the same strength. Now, to understand this, you have to understand that Raditz is basically only 1100, I believe, in uh, power level. That's pretty low if you think about it. By the time of the Android Saga, even Yamcha is stronger than Raditz. Because Yamcha has... I actually am not sure how high Yamcha's power level is, but I do know it's much higher than uh, Raditz after he trains with King Kai. Especially since, uh, at least in the filler in Dragon Ball Z, he was able to handle the Ginyu Force. Uh, also, Raditz... <clears throat> would also have to consider the fact that uh, Saiyans, uh, you know, Goku and Vegeta, as well as their children Trunks and Gohan, would also be much, much stronger than himself. Now, since Super Saiyan has a base multiplier of 50, that basically would, at most, make Raditz's power level around 50,000, maybe 51,000. That's pretty low if you think about it. So, if Raditz had a base power level of 51, uh, no, sorry, a base power level of 1,100, then his base power level, <laughs> I'm saying base power level, his Super Saiyan power level at most would be 5,100, which would still be much lower compared to Goku, Vegeta, even at that point, Gohan and Trunks. At that point, Raditz would be so weak that any of them could probably handle Raditz uh, without even turning into a Super Saiyan. At least Goku and Vegeta should. Come think of it, at this point, Piccolo should even be able to handle uh, Super Saiyan Raditz. So in all honesty, he really wouldn't be that strong. Uh, despite that, a lot of fans speculate that it would be cool to see it, though. Well, again, the only way that this could possibly work is if Raditz were much stronger than he currently is. The fact that he's not that strong, and the fact that he wouldn't have even been training in the afterlife, the only possible way he could have gotten stronger is from some sort of power boost, like let's say the Majin spell. And in all honesty, I doubt that Bobbidi would even waste his time with Raditz. Except as like an errand boy, you know, like <laughs> Spobovich and Yama. Uh, in addition to this, 
you also have to look at whether or not Raditz could even transform into a Super Saiyan. And I think the answer is probably no. Now, I don't think it's been stated that you need a base power level in order to become a Super Saiyan, just that uh, you need... Uh, there's basically like special circumstances, but I don't think that they're necessarily associated with uh, power level. Although, it is possible there could be a base power level. You know what, let's say for the sake of simplicity that there is some sort of base power. Even if Raditz had the right motivation, I doubt he could even transform into a Super Saiyan, unless he were to get stronger. I would say his power level should have to be at least maybe 10,000 or so in order to become a Super Saiyan. And that's saying that because uh, Bardock was able to turn into a Super Saiyan, although a lot of people say that wasn't canon, but nonetheless. They still had Bardock transform into a Super Saiyan, and his power level isn't that high compared to the others who transformed. Not even Goten and Trunks. So at that point, uh, I would say around 10,000 perhaps, maybe a little bit more than that is the base for one to be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. Possibly, well, it depends on how high Bardock's power level was in episode of Bardock. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and... Uh, be sure to share your thoughts, and like, and all that. And uh, I'll be coming with a new video uh, pretty soon. So, uh, see you guys later. Like this video? If so, then click on the annotations on screen to go to some of my other videos. I mostly like to do topics on Dragon Ball Z, but I'm open to some other topics as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and... Also, uh, please click the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment and, well, enjoy. Enjoy my content.